Happy Valentine's, Soul Family. Valentine's Month, right? This is Latani with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. Uh, this reading will be from February the 4th through roughly February the 14th. Uh, I did start with Aquarius because it's Aquarius season. Now moving on to Cancer. Cancer, before I get started, let me say thank you. To all of my old subscribers, I really appreciate you. <laughs> thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome, thank you so much for subscribing. So family, thank you for the emails, the comments, the likes, dislikes. Uh, it is all energy. Thank you so much, Soul Family, for leaving your comments, for sharing your personal stories, uh, because it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situations, others who are going through similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind the energy. Okay, so, um, Cancer, I know you're doing your best to release toxicity from the mind, body, and soul, doing your best to drop karmic situations, places, vices, things, situationships, all those things that hinder you uh, from your true life path. All those things that keep you stuck and put roadblocks in front of your path so that of course when you're setting your intentions you are able to manifest your true heart's desire with a clean clean clear and open heart a clear and open mind uh, so that you know exactly what you're manifesting exactly how you want it unlimited potential unlimited manifestations uh, and we do have a new moon coming up in the sign of aquarius uh, next week uh, next thursday on the 11th so just getting ready to clear out all that old stuff, inviting in the new. Cancer, also before I move on to your pre-shuffle, uh, I would like to read your horoscope for the month of February, uh, February 2021, and it reads, Cancer, do what makes you feel safe. If that includes taking care of others, that's fine. But don't forget about yourself. Reconnecting with what fulfills your emotional needs is important to help turn off that hamster wheel of overthinking. Your rewarding days will be the 22nd, the 23rd, and your challenging days will be the 8th and the 9th, which is next Monday, Tuesday. So Cancer, uh, I have, oh, this won't resonate with everyone, right? This is a overall general collective reading, uh, so maybe 5%. It may resonate, re resonate with 1%. Maybe it's just meant for one or two people. Uh, whoever is meant to hear it the most, continue to check your moon sign, rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, uh, all the areas in your natal birth chart that make up who you are. Uh, so Cancer, I think that's about it. I've already set my intentions and I have already set my prayer off camera. Uh, I'm going to bring you on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're staying focused. Focus on your breath, meditation, your to-dos, <laughs> exercising, eating right, that good stuff. So Cancer, when I split the deck, I have the, looks like the Eight of Cups in the um, reverse with the moon. So Cancer, maybe someone, another water sign walked away from you, uh, someone who has Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart. Maybe they walked away because of secrets, or maybe they walked away because you know their secrets. But it's almost like they wanted, they're wanting to come back and return. The only thing is we are in Mercury retrograde, so there's going to be a lot of old flames, uh, things that were false starts, people wanting to return. You also have the Seven of Wands. Uh, with the moon again. So this person could have water and fire in their chart. Uh, maybe before they were not letting you in, trying to defend their fortress, trying to defend their secrets. Maybe they're coming back in wanting to share their thoughts, their feelings, maybe even their secrets, but let's keep going. One more shuffle. Let's split the deck. Cancel your focus. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. You also have the Page of Wands in the reverse. You also have the Three of Cups in the reverse. You also have the Queen of Swords in the upright. You also have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. You also have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. You also have the Five of Wands <laughs> in the upright. Okay. 
All right, Cancer, let's get settled here. So your focus, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. Now remember, this could be the King or the Queen because we're talking energy. <clears throat> but the King or the Queen in the upright, well, this is someone who is usually firm within their foundation. Uh, they're firm financially, mentally, uh, definitely grounded. And their legacy, spiritually divine and guided, very generous, safe and sound, has a love of luxury and very confident and a heavy dedication to their, their family, right? But in the reverse, this is someone who is not very trustworthy. This is someone who uh, is overly materialistic. This is someone who has to show others that they can keep up with the Joneses, but they have no money. This is someone who acts like they want a family, acts like they want to be a family man or a family woman, but behind the scenes, they want to be single. And this is someone who takes foolish risks with their family, money, and their legacy. And you also have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Now, in the upright, well, we know pages. Of course, they can be children. Uh, this can also be young adults. This could also be uh, older adults who are maybe slightly immature. But usually with the page of wands in the upright, this is some type of fresh idea or new beginning. This is sometime uh, positive news or encouraging news that comes in. Uh, but in the reverse... This is someone who could be disloyal. This is someone who brings in gossip and bad news and someone who is full of chaos and instability in their life. And you also have the Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. On the upright, the Three of Cups is just what you see. It is celebrations, reunions, events, get-togethers, partying with two or more, <laughs> buying drinks for the bar, buying drinks for others, buying dinner for others, right? Engaging in heavy drinking, sometimes vices, situations, situationships, uh, and even adult uh, situations, right? And in the reverse, this is just a overindulgence in those situations, whether it's alcohol, drugs, or sex. And you also have the Queen of Swords, in the upright. Well, we know the queen or the king of swords. This is someone who stands in their power, someone who stands in their truth, someone who has good, had good times, bad times, good relationships, bad relationships, good marriages, bad marriages. Someone who is very wise, very well grounded and rooted, very solid in their, fin in their um, finances, in their foundation. And this is someone who is quick to cut out others who are not on their level. And you also have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the card of legacy. This is the card of heavy foundation. This is the card of having the attitude of gratitude of what you built, whether it's something you built by yourself or something that you built with a business partner, a long-term partner, or even your spouse, all right? This is all about the Pentacles. <laughs> and you also have The Four of Pentacles. Hmm. This is trying to hold on to what you have, right? Or trying to hold on to others. Even as others may not want to hold on to you. This could also be trying to hold on to a situation, foundation, or even Pentacles, right? But trying to keep something sometimes hidden. Well, let's keep going. And you also have... The Five of Wands. Hmm. Now we know the Five of Wands, this is deception, competition, chaos, and drama. 
This is people around us or very close to us who are not to be trusted. Hmm. People who strike matches and then start fires or they throw stones and they break the glass and then they run to leave you to clean up or deal with the shenanigans that they cause. Cancer on the board, we have pentacles. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, we also have wands. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we also have cups. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we also have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Hmm. Uh, cancer. Interesting. The only cups I see on the board is the three of cups. It's in the reverse. Interesting. Cancer, I do believe that you are this king or queen of swords. Remember, it's energy we're talking. We all possess uh, feminine and masculine energy. Uh, but I do believe, Cancer, that you found out perhaps your significant other, whether this is in business, whether this is in a partnership, long-term partnership or marriage, maybe even a family situation, you found out that someone has not been on the up and up with you. Hmm. Matter of fact, I do have third party situations here. <laughs> For some of you, this king or queen of pentacles, they're holding on to their treasure chests. Within that treasure chest, we don't know. It could be money, it could be assets, it could be uh, other uh, individual lives, <laughs> secrets. Uh, but for I think the most part, a lot of you are finding out about third party situations. You're finding out that while you were waiting on this person, they were indulging with others. They were drinking with others doing vices with others and having situationships with others. Hmm. Hmm. For some of you, maybe you even received a message from this person because pages can be younger people. They could be younger than this king or queen that he was dealing with or she was dealing with. Maybe you're finding out who this third party was, Cancer. You're finding out this person was younger than you, perhaps, immature. This person, the king or the queen of pentacles in the reverse, could tell this person anything. And maybe this was a person that they drank with, did drugs with, and had situationships with. Which is why we're kind of finding all of these people and situations, well, pretty much they're in the reverse. Uh, I do believe cancer they're in the reverse because as the king or the queen of swords, you have exposed this situation or you have discovered the truth. Being divinely guided and firmly rooted and grounded, you've used your intuition and your insights and downloads from the divine and from your angels and your spirit guides and you have discovered the truth about the significant partner whether it's in business whether it's in a relationship whether it's even a family member You're finding out that this person was not what they say they were they were not doing what they say what they say they were doing right and it looks like this person, their people are in the reverse, and this king of Pen or queen of pentacles are in the reverse. So maybe they were heavy into vices. Maybe you're finding out your person is even dealing with addictions. Hmm. There is a ten of pentacles here, <clears throat> which tells me there's something that has been built up. There's money, 
there's businesses, there's homes, there's some type of foundation that was built together with this king or queen of pentacles, even though they're in reverse. And for a lot of you, you are finding out that this person no longer wants to build. They want to party. They want the company of others. They perhaps even could be a narcissist if they are loving attention, if they are trying to keep up with the Joneses, if they are into boasting and bragging about what they have, what they make, what they drive, where they work, what kind of house they live in, what kind of clothes they have. They love the attention of others. And for a lot of you, you're finding out that this is not the partner or the spouse that you want because this is someone who is not mature. This could also be someone who is not mentally stable, whether it's mentally or whether it's because of vices. For the most part, <sighs> I believe you're trying to let this go, Cancer. The thing is, there's some trickery here. It could be some trickery from the person that you're dealing with or from the person that they're dealing with because this. Page of Wands in the reverse, this is someone who can be very conniving. Someone who can be scheming after pentacles. And if this is your spouse or your partner, and they're in the reverse, they're not going to catch the schemes of this person. Right? They may even put your foundation in jeopardy by allowing this person into your finances or your business. Interesting, because I do see this person almost like they're trying to light a match. Almost like they're trying to incite a situation here. All right? So we want to be careful of that. This is someone who may trap your person, right? Someone who may even blackmail your person because they know your person's secrets. They probably know what's in this trunk. They probably know about the money. They probably even know about you. What is the king or the queen of swords? I do see your person wanting to hold on to you after this betrayal. And as you can see, they also want to hold on to this person. Which is the same person right here, as you can see. They want to hold on to this person. It's almost like your person wants to be young again. They don't want the family life. They no longer want to be married. They want to be married on the outside, but in the inside, they want to act single. So for a lot of you, I do see you cutting this out. And Cancer, as the king or queen of swords, you know, you know that you deserve an emperor or empress who is on your level. Because the king and queen of swords, this is the one uh, suit or uh, the king and queens that stand in their truth. They stand in their maturity and they stand in their firm foundations. So having third parties, I doubt that's going to work. <laughs> I doubt you're going to accept that moving into 2021. I say cancer, let bygones be good bygones, and you continue to build your legacy and work on you and do the best things that are in your favor. All right? And if that's releasing toxicity from the mind, body, and soul, releasing karmic spouses, situationships, business partners, or even long-term partners or spouses, for your peace of mind, that's what you have to do. So let's see. We have, I am a radiant being who attracts harmony, balance, and love into my life each day. Again, this is you. A radiant being, able to manifest on your own, 
Your garden is looking luscious. <laughs> Everything is green and very light. And for a lot of you, even though it's a pandemic, a lot of you are doing great within your foundation. Steadying your finances, good health, right? And like everyone else, you're just kind of waiting this situation out. I am a radiant being who attracts harmony, balance, and love into my life each day. And you have one more. The waterfall, this effortless, right? Things to a lot of you are just effortless. You already have a foundation. You've already built up what you need to build up, right? If this person wants to go, send them on their way. It's time to cut out the baggage. It's time to cut out people who are not on your level. It's time to cut out people who are mentally unstable. It's time to cut out people who want third parties, who will endanger your health, who will endanger your legacy. And it's time to step in 2021, 2022, 2023 as a new you without the baggage. Cancer, this is your reading from February the 4th through February the 14th. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. And so, family, we want to do our best to stay in control of our mind, body, and soul, no matter what's going on around us. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul and from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a good week.